Welcome back to another episode of Judgment. Once again, I appreciate you guys. This episode, I'm really not going to be talking too much. It's a highly like informative episode that I want you guys to pay attention to detail. Um, if you really don't feel like it, you can just I'll leave a brief summary down in the description. You can look at that and just say, hey, go with that. But this story is getting a little bit saucy. I kind of like where we're going with it. construction company, the Kajihira Group, and its chairman, Shigeru Kajihira. Uh, that old man is the person responsible for all 10,000 employees in the Kajihira group. Shigeru Kajihira. So he's the guy. You're familiar with Hattori-san here, yes? He's told me a great deal about you, Yagami-san. Me? He even clued me in on the perfect way to get inside your head. You better not be talking about Mafia Chan. As I understand it, you two are practically family. The young lady is quite fond of you, you know. I take it you're the one who gave Shioya the order to kidnap her then? <laughs> I wanted to see what you were capable of. Huh? Now that I know, the Cure clan will leave you alone. I can guarantee that. Let me guess. There's a condition? There's something I'd like you to do. A job only a detective can handle. Here we go. A year ago, I set in motion a plan to redevelop a massive plot of land owned by the Ministry of Health. Yeah, I know. Hattori-san's article told me as much. <laughs> Sharp. Our plan was to take over the entire medical institute. That's enough land there for three or four Camarochos. So I struck a deal with Minister Kazami and bought up the surrounding properties for next to nothing. All that remained was closing down the ADDC and the other arms of the institute. But I don't have enough time on this planet to wait for that to just happen naturally. So I turned to a man named Hashki. Here's a shot of me. At the time, Hoshki was the vice director of the ADDC. But tempting him to join me was easy enough. But soon we were working together to sabotage the center. Sabotage? Yes, he drove out the ADDC's most promising talent and sold their cutting edge research to rival labs. He performed his part admirably. Sounds like a real douchebag, if you ask me. So, you're saying you bought off a government official? Yes, and it was easy. But then, just as the ADDC was on its last legs, something breathed life back into it. Which was? AD. In conclusion, if you didn't get all that, the Mr. ADDC is basically a big old profit with a bunch of people that's in it for the money. My man the here, Professor X, he basically is playing a monopoly and he wanted to surround the properties around it just so his business could boom. Um, he had agreement with someone in the inside and he shifted to another way because this dude was understanding the study of this medicine for Alzheimer's. Somebody murdered the vice director, director of the It's a lot here. You like reading? You like comprehending? You like sitting back watching movies? It's a perfect episode. The cops wrote it off as a drunken brawl and that was the end of it. Yagami-san, I want you to investigate Hashki's death. I have reason to believe it was premeditated. What makes you think that? Sound pretty sure. He was suspicious of AD9. Thought it was all a hoax. A hoax? But why? Just when we started talking about closing the center, along came this revolutionary new drug to save the day. The timing was too convenient. That's what Hoshki thought, at least. He was sure that there was more to AD9 than met the eye. So he did some digging. And not long after, he was murdered. Are you saying Director Kido bumped him off? It's a pretty serious accusation. If that were the case, I'd still be able to shutter the center. The redevelopment project would begin anew, and all my investments would finally turn a profit. But as of right now, 
I'm a hundred billion in the red. That's a lot of money. I can't leave that large an investment on the table. No wonder you're so hung up. The ADDC is hiding something. I'm sure of it. And that lawyer, Shintani, was close to figuring out what. At least until he got his eyes gouged out. Things are not all they seem to be at the ADDC. And if that's the case, you must want to know the truth too, Yagami-san. That's why I came to you. There's nobody else I could ask to do this. Hattori-san. Mafuyu almost got kidnapped thanks to you. Anything you want to say? Chairman Kajihira pretty much kidnapped me, too. Going after your girl wasn't my idea. I was just looking out for myself. Still feels like you owe us an apology. <sighs> that guy's the fucking worst. Hey, shouldn't we roll out of here? Our friend's just about waking up. Good point. Let's go. Yeah, name's Hushki. Used to be vice director of the ADDC. Mm-hmm. Murdered in Kamurocho six months ago. Sorry to spring this on you, Hoshino. Think you could get all that for me by tomorrow? Okay, thanks. Well, looks like that's it for today. See you at Genda's tomorrow? Sounds good. Night, boys. Yagami-san. What's up, Sugira? I was just thinking, teaming up with you was the right call. Should make some progress on my investigation, now that Kajihira himself is out in the open. I wouldn't have saved Mafuyu without you, either. Thanks again. No prob. Let me know if anything else comes up. Kaito-san. Early bird nabs the murderer, yeah? I heard the Kyore clan attacked Mafuyu last night. You already talked to her? Yeah. She... Yagami-san. Is Genda-sensei still out of commission? No, he'll be here this afternoon. He didn't sound very energetic when we spoke, though. Gotcha. Anyway... Back to what you asked me last night. I looked into Hashki's murder. Hold up. I want to hear this, too. Toru Hashiki. Former vice director of the ADDC. 51 years old at the time of his death six months ago. Found lying face down in a Kamarocho back alley in the middle of the night. He was unconscious, horribly beaten. He died in the hospital three weeks later. It took that long? Yes. Apparently he was comatose the entire time. Were there any witnesses? Not to the crime itself, no. However, quite a few people saw Hoshki in a drunken argument beforehand. With a man in a black raincoat. And that's all we know about the culprit. A black raincoat? As far as I can tell, the police never found him, but... Who knows how hard they looked, right? And, well, that's all I could find. Little more than a general overview. Thanks, Hoshinoku. This is great for now. Kajihira claimed Hashiki's murder was premeditated, yes? Huh? Yeah, that's right. But there's no evidence to support it whatsoever. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. If the culprit intended to kill Hashiki, wouldn't he have finished the job? Seems kind of sloppy. On the other hand, if it was just an unfortunate run-in, the circumstances would make more sense. I don't know. I think it's the other way around. Huh? 
If you ask me, whoever killed Hoshki was a freaking pro. What makes you say that? Yes, do tell. Just look at the end result. Hoshki died and whoever's responsible got away with it. Now imagine if the cops found him dead in that alley. That alone would be cause for investigation. If he's just unconscious, though, it's easier to just call it a street brawl and move on. I mean, that's just another day in Kamurocho, right? True enough. I suppose the incident never made the news because his death didn't come until so much later. Despite how well known he was in the scientific community, that is. So the killer beat Hoshki until he sustained a fatal wound, then backed off? Is such a thing even possible? It is if you're a pro. <laughs> Guys that good totally exist. It's just rare to see it happen. Know what I mean? I admit it would make sense, but we can't say for sure without evidence. More or less. What kind of evidence do you mean? Something like an investigation report. I want to know the cause of death. Which I guess means another visit to our old friend Ayabe, huh? I'm way ahead of you. Called him myself last night, but, uh... But what? His hands are tied because of all this Kuroiwa business. <sighs> Should have known. We got someone else coming in his place, though. Meaning the same place as before. Lamont. You're gonna come, right? Sure, let's do it. Let's hit it. Looks like we got some company. Mm-hmm. Hold up. These guys are Matsugane. Weird. I don't think they're too happy with us. Oh, yeah? Well, what gave it away? Maybe they think we're working with the Kyore clan. Either way, doesn't look like they want to talk it over. meet up with Ayabe's boy. Any idea what he looks like? Nope. Bet he'll talk to us first, though. Let's hope so. Well, time to start looking. Do I know you, or...? This is no time for jokes. I'm not? Can you please...? Now, are you okay doing this here? Or would you rather go somewhere a little quieter? Well, can we slow down for a second? No, we can't. Let's get this over with. Yeah, but doing it right here? Uh, sorry? I right, listen, you're very pretty, and you clearly know what you're about, but I'm more of a take-it-slow kind of guy, you know? I don't like to rush into these things. Yakumi-kun, can you seriously not tell it's me? Wait, uh, who? What the heck? Muffle you? I hate to break it to you, but when a woman comes on that strong, she's not after what you think she is. Right. Uh, anyway, what are you doing here? I'm here on behalf of Ayabe. Wait, but... really? Why did Ayabe send you? 
He gave me a call this morning out of the blue. Said he needed me to help you in his stead. Here's the investigation report on Hoshki's murder. This is what you want, right? You took it from the prosecutor's office? Isn't that, you know, problematic? Hence the disguise. Think it's okay to hand it over here? This is really intense. All right, try to stay calm. It's okay. Think of it as a thank you for saving me yesterday. One more thing. Regarding Prosecutor Izumita. Hmm? They're planning to arrest you. Under suspicion of murdering Shintani-sensei. I suggest you figure something out quick. Will do. Thanks. Bye then. Who was that? She was smoking. That was Ayabe's replacement. Huh? What do we got here? This is the investigation report. Mafuyu stole it from the prosecutor's office. Mafuyu-chan? Are you saying that woman was her? Yeah, I just made the same mistake. You should check this stuff out. This is Hashiki's resume. Looks like he was pretty well educated. They brought him on as vice director four years ago. Meaning, he was already with the ADDC when you were busting your ass defending Okubo. Seems like he and Kido were responsible for deciding how much money to give each project. Hashiki had more influence than I realized. This here is a map of the crime scene. Hoshki was found lying here. An hour before that, he was seen drinking at a cabaret. This one. Place called the Queen Rouge. They charge an arm and a leg, but hell if they don't make bank off it. Was Hoshiki drinking alone while he was there? Nah, looks like one of his colleagues is with him. Wait. It was that guy, Shono. So the two of them came all the way from the center just to grab a few drinks. The question is, why? Beats me. After they left the club, Shono grabbed a cab by himself. He claims he went back to the center and had a chat with Kido. The taxi company's records back that up. Meaning Shono has an alibi. Kido too. Yep. As for Hoshki, he had an argument with a man in a black raincoat. Then they found him on the ground. Shit beat out of him. Three weeks later, he was dead. That's horrible. The cause of death was a cerebral contusion due to blunt trauma. The culprit hit him 14, maybe 15 times. No fingerprints, so he must have been wearing gloves. All right. I think we understand how it all went down. So, what's our next move? I want to take a little field trip, see for ourselves where they found Hushki. The Queen Rouge is right near there, too. Kaito-san, mind playing the part of Hushki? Guess not. He was round here, yeah? How's this? Wow, he looks so lifeless. You could get a job doing this. Oh, shut up. Okay, so, six months ago, just past 11 p.m., Hashiki and Shono finish drinking. Shono gets in a cab. Hashiki stays and argues with a man in a raincoat, after which he was found here, beaten half to death. But Shono got in the cab on Showa Street, meaning Hashiki and his friend went somewhere else just so they could have their little scuffle. It's definitely quieter here. Maybe this is always where the murderer planned to kill Hashiki. And what makes you say that? I don't know. Just a hunch. Big Mr. Detective. Anyway, I think we got all we can. Nothing's gonna be left from six months ago. Yeah, you're right. Where'd you go? We're not open yet, sir. May I ask who you are? I must also point out that this club is members only. 
Oh, uh, you know a hush key from the ADDC? He told us to stop by. Hoshki san Sorry, I've never heard of him. All recommendations must come from a current member. You know Hashiki-san's dead, right? He got beaten to death six months ago, right after leaving your club. Who are you? You're clearly not cops. We're private investigators. The Yagami Detective Agency. We want to know what happened that night. You think I'm a goddamn elephant man? I can't remember something from that long ago. We don't need you to tell us. You have girls working here, yeah? If possible, I'd like to talk to the girl who sat with Hashiki-san. Get out of my face. I have no obligation to help you. How about this? I'll talk to you once you're a member. If you can get a recommendation, that is. Let me say, though, our rates aren't exactly what I would call cheap. I don't have time to go hunt down a recommendation. Then get out of my face. Hold on. You guys are recruiting? And? Think this girl fits the bill? Pretty damn fine, huh? Hmm. Well, she's not bad, I guess. Not bad? You, my friend, have impossibly high standards. Look, we only go for the hottest chicks. That's how we rake in the big bucks. But there's more to being hot than just looks. You gotta have something extra. Some charm, you know? What the hell are you doing, Kaito-san? Mafuyu's gonna be pissed. If you can think of a better way, be my guest. All Mafuyu's gotta do is get hired and find out what Shono and Hoshki were talking about. Don't be an idiot. We can't ask her to do that. Hmm. In that case, how about her? <laughs> sorry san She wouldn't stand more of a chance than Mafuyu did. Who else do we got? Whoa, whoa, who's that? Now there's a girl I want to see. Huh? That photo's not doing her any favors, but polish her up and she'll shine like a diamond. Trust me, boys. See what I mean? Even Hoshino-kun's got the hots for her. Seriously? You run this club, yeah? That's right. Please bring that friend of yours over here. I want to see her for myself. Hell, I'll hire her on the spot. I think we can manage that. Come on, Tuck. Uh. I'll be waiting! Well, looks like we're sending Sauri sign in there. It's the quickest way. Easier said than done. How are we even gonna get her on board? I don't know. She likes dessert, right? Just give her something sweet and call it a day. You think she'd really go for that? I bring sweets to the office all the time. Sounds to me like you're gonna need the Kaito of desserts. A dessert to crush all other desserts. Oh, yeah? What'd you have in mind? Do I look like a dessert menu? This is all you, buddy. It was your idea, jackass. going, Yagamishi? There's something I need help finding. <laughs> what is it this time? I need the king of desserts. Something that a sweet tooth hound would do anything to get. <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. You think a modern woman's gonna fall for that one? Oh yeah. Guys still do it and girls still eat it up. Really? Dating sounds pretty stupid. But anyway, I'm up for a search. Hit me with some keywords. Hmm. Uh, let's try sweets and limited. Let's give it a shot. Sharing my screen with you now. That's hundreds of hits too many. <sighs> so much for limited. Let's try adding another word to narrow it down, Yagamishi. Mm, 
It's the only damn flavor anyone. Well, looks like that's out of the question. <laughs> Incredible! You narrowed it down to one result. Really? Nice. Yagamishi. Oh, uh, this one isn't gonna work. Let's try a different word. Yeah, that one brought it down a lot. Huh. I mean. <laughs> That's my Yagamishi. Yeah, that did it. Mm, what do we have here? Famous Kyoto sweet shop Takemitsu's Kamurocho branch now open on Shichifuku Street. Perfect. I'll head over there now. You know those are limited quantity, right? I don't know if you can still get them this time of day. Guess I should get moving then. <laughs> I don't know who you're going through all this trouble for, but she's a lucky girl. Good luck, Yagamishi. Gotta run, Sukumo. Thanks again. I'll be rooting for you. <laughs> Up in this town, you gotta follow the rules. I, I told you, I already submitted all my documents. We don't give a shit about your documents. This is about knowing your place. Uh, uh, you don't mean uh, uh, protection money? <laughs> protection? I don't know what you're talking about. We just want to make sure you're following the rules. Excuse me. Mind if I squeeze past you fellas? Then who the hell are you, huh? Sorry, buddy, but you're gonna have to come back later. We're in the middle of something. I'm looking for one of your special mochi, sir. Hey, uh, 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 well, uh, uh... This ain't a joke, asshole! We're talking here! You better beat it before this gets ugly. If anyone needs to beat it, it's you. Oh, yeah? Somebody might see you shaking this poor guy down and call the cops. Heck, I'll do it myself. Hmm. You think you're safe because you're a civilian, huh? We'll think again. Come on! Let's wreck this shithead! Show these Kyoto fucks how things work around here! Dude, what the shit? Leave now and I won't call the cops. Now go. Damn it. Hey, uh, thank you so much, sir. Oh, that? That was nothing. As I was saying, I'm looking for one of your special mochi. Uh, my apologies, sir. We're all sold out for today. Sold out? Oh, damn it. I should have come sooner. Uh, oh, uh, wait, sir. I think I have one. Huh? We keep a few separate from our regular sales batch, you know, for TV interviews and the like. There still should be some of those left. Wow. You guys are the real deal. Think I could buy one? You can have one for free after what you did today. I, I insist. Really? Well, I guess if you don't mind. Well, uh, I should be going. Thank you again, sir. Hmm? Genda-sensei, how do you feel? Fine, I guess. Just got back in the office. Oh, sorry, son. I got you this. Yagami. Sorry, do you mind if I talk to Sari-san real quick? This comes first. We've got business. Huh? Take a seat. Sit down. I've got... You're not talking your way out of this one, Yagami. Hoshino-kun told me everything. Everything about... All this shit with Shintani. I told you to back off. But you went and dug even deeper. 
Now you've got Hoshino-kun wrapped up in this. Shintani was practically a son to me. I'm sure I told you that before. Knowing he's gone, I can barely get up in the morning. My appetite's gone too, and I'm just forcing down food. What am I gonna do if I lose you and Hoshino-kun too? Something came to me when I was in bed thinking about this. If things keep going down this path, is it even wise to keep this office up and running? That's not how I want to think about it, though. Huh? One of my own gets murdered, and I respond by lying in bed whimpering about it? <laughs> not happening. If you don't have the will to fight, you're never gonna last in this town. Every single person in Camarocho is pursuing a dream, trying to claw their way forward, bit by bit. If you don't want to get your ass chewed up and spat out, you gotta keep fighting, even if you have to fake it. If I can't fight after what happened to Shintani, I might as well just close up shop. Yagami, you're serious about this, aren't you? You really want to avenge Shintani? Yes. Good. In that case, Hoshino-kun is at your disposal. I'll eat the cost till this murder is solved. We're gonna find Shintani's killer, no matter what. And until we do, I'll pitch in however I can. You just say the word. Thank you, Genda-sensei. One condition, though. No more victims. After everything that's already happened, I can't afford to lose anyone else. We'll be careful. As for the next step in our investigation, uh, I'm gonna need a little help from Saurisan. Saurikun? Hmm? Good, aren't they? By the way, <clears throat> there's something I need to ask you. Absolutely not. Oh, come on, Saurisan. You ate all that mochi, didn't you? Those were a trap. I don't approve of such trickery. Come on. Could be fun being a hostess for a day. Though what that club owner sees in you is beyond me, that's for sure. <clears throat> It'll be fine, Saurisan. We're not asking you to be their number one girl. No. If we got you a new dress, you'd look the part. It'll be one of those extreme makeovers. No. What about that mochi? I'll get you some more if you do it. No. I don't think she's gonna budge, Yagami. Guess not. I don't even know if the manager was that serious anyway. What do you mean, not that serious? What do you see when you look at Saori-san, huh? No, it's not that. It's she's just clearly not into the idea. But why would she be with the way you're approaching it? Talking about how she doesn't have to be the number one girl or giving her a makeover. If you'd look a little closer, maybe you'd understand. Saori-san could be the best hostess in this whole damn town if she wanted to. Isn't that right, Saori-san? If you really believe that, I guess I could give it a try. Wait, huh? what? I'll do it. I'll be Kamarocho's number one hostess. That's what I'm talking about! Okay, uh, you can pick out a dress, Yagami-san. And she'll need a haircut and makeup, too. You don't mind shelling out for this, do you? Hmm? No, it's fine, but I have to pick the dress? Don't worry. There's a shop around here that caters exclusively to hostesses looking for outfits. You can't go wrong at a place like that. But how's she gonna be the best if she goes to the same store as all the other girls? In conclusion with all that, we're about to send her. You know, she looks like a nerdy, 
innocent woman. Yeah. We're about to send her into the fucking temp juice away. heavens. I don't know, probably bedazzle her, dress her up as a stripper, go, get her on outside, and see what type of investigation she, she can do. However, she's you. most likely, I say, a 27-year-old virgin. But hey, hey, don't, 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 yeah. don't slip on that. Them, them kind of dirty ones who do stands and books well and stuff, the uh, they, they be a little free. Sure <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out pretty soon here.